Let's take a look at enabling circular logging for a mailbox database in Exchange Server 2016. So there's two ways to do it. I want to show you first through PowerShell and then through the Exchange Admin Center, the GUI. So to enable circular logging using PowerShell, uh, we need to first find the name of the database that we're going to be enabling it for. And I've got that here. I'll assign it to the mailbox database variable. And I wrote a simple function to uh, get us the files and size of the directory where the logs are, just so we can compare before and after. And then to enable circular logging, we use the set mailbox database commandlet. Give it the name of the database and then the circular logging enabled uh, parameter set to true. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And it's going to tell me that I need to remount the database. The easiest way to do that is to restart the Exchange Information Store service. So I'm going to use the restart service commandlet to do so. And then we also need to give it a few seconds to actually process those logs to make them smaller. And now if we run that same function to get the files and size of that logs directory, we can see that it is now a little bit smaller. So to enable circular logging using the Exchange Admin Center, uh, once we log in, we want to navigate to the, the servers option on the left. And then we want to select the database tab and find the database that we want to edit and then select the edit option. And then on the left, we want to select the maintenance option. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can see that there's this enable circular logging option. And because we've already enabled it, it is checked. Uh, but if it wasn't already enabled, we want to check that, hit save, and then restart the exchange information store, just like we did with PowerShell. So that's how you enable circular logging for a mailbox database in Exchange Server 2016.